The Cherokee is a Native American tribe that is indigenous to the southeastern United States. They believe that the Creator has given them a gift of understanding and preserving medicinal herbs. The Cherokee trust the healing and preventative properties of nature's pharmacy. Because many plants become scarce throughout history, the Cherokee promote proper gathering techniques. The old ones have taught them that if you're gathering, you should only pick every third plant you find. This ensures that enough specimens still remain and will continue to propagate. Here are some of the medicinal plants that were commonly used and foraged for by the Cherokee tribe. However, the following six plants were used by this tribe in the treatment of almost every single illness and health condition. However, before we explain their properties, we must warn you that they can be quite strong and dangerous if not used properly. Keep in mind that the Cherokee healers were experienced as they had centuries of practice. Furthermore, it is of high importance to understand their value as powerful natural medications, so you should be gentle when scavenging them. These are the natural plants that provide amazing health benefits. Plants for Healing Blackberry To the Cherokee, the blackberry is the longest known remedy to an upset stomach, however this herb can be used for just about anything. Using a strong tea from the root of blackberry helps to reduce swelling of tissue and joints. A decoction from the roots, sweetened with honey or maple syrup, makes a great cough syrup. Even chewing on the leaves of blackberry can soothe bleeding gums. Some other health benefits of blackberry fruit include Better digestion Strengthened immune system Healthy functioning of the heart Prevention of cancer Relief from endothelial dysfunction These tasty berries are also incredibly nutritious. Vitamins provided by blackberries include vitamin A, vitamin B6, vitamin C, vitamin E, vitamin K, thiamine, riboflavin, nacin, and folate. Blackberries also have an incredible mineral wealth of calcium, iron, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, and zinc. They are also a good source of dietary fiber and essential amino acids. Hummingbird Blossom Backbrush Hummingbird Blossom has been used by the Cherokee for treatment of cysts, fibroid tumors, inflammation, and mouth-slash-throat problems. Present-day research has concluded that this herb is also great for treating high blood pressure and lymphatic blockages. The Cherokee mainly use Hummingbird Blossom as a diuretic to stimulate kidney function. However it was was also used to treat conditions such as Inflamed tonsils Enlarged lymph nodes Enlarged spleens Hemorrhoids Menstrual bleeding To get all of the benefits from hummingbird blossom, the Cherokee would steep the leaf and flowers in a boiling water for about 5 minutes then drink the tea while it is still warm. Quelo sumac. Every single part of this herb can be used for medicinal purposes. Sumac buck can be made into a mild decoction that can be taken to soothe diarrhea. The decoction from the buck can also be gargled to help with a sore throat. Ripe berries can make a pleasant beverage that is rich in vitamin C. The tea from the leaves of sumac can reduce fevers. You can even crush the leaves into an ointment to help relieve a poison ivy rash. A study published in Iranian Journal of Pharmaceutical Research reported that sumac, if added to daily diet, can help lower cholesterol levels. Big Stretch Wild Ginger The Cherokee recommend a mild tea, made from the root of wild ginger, to stimulate better digestion. This herb can also help with intestinal gas, upset stomach and colic. A strong tea from the root of wild ginger can be used to remove secretion from the lungs. The Meskwaki, another Native American tribe, use crushed, steeped stems of wild ginger as a relief from earaches. 
You can use root stocks from this herb as a substitute for regular ginger and flowers as flavoring for your favorite recipe. Just do one a jiddy wild rose. The fruit of the wild rose is a rich source of vitamin C and is a great remedy for the common cold and the flu. The Cherokee would make a mild tea out of wild rose hips to stimulate bladder and kidney function. You can even make your own petal infusion to soothe sore throat. Or try making a decoction from the root to help with diarrhea. My grandmother used to make jam out of the petals and it was delicious. Koi as de yellow dog. The Cherokee often use this herb in their kitchen. It is very similar to spinach but contains a lot more vitamins and minerals due to its long routes that gathers nutrients from deep underground. The leaves of yellow dock are a great source of iron and can also be used as a laxative. You can even prepare a juice decoction out of yellow dock stems to treat minor sores, diaper rash, and itching. The Cherokee healers use a decoction, made from the crushed roots of yellow dock, as warm wash for its antiseptic properties. You should always remember that all of the above mentioned herbs are very potent and might be dangerous if used in the wrong way. The Cherokee healers have many centuries of practice and experience. Another thing to keep in mind is the fact that these herbs are all very valuable. They are the nature's pharmacy, so please be kind and caring when scavenging any of these.